right, so today we're going to be making a video of the uh, 2020 Mini Cooper Countryman uh, JCW. So this one you can see is in uh, Rebel Green. Uh, it's got the upgraded 20 uh, 20 inch wheels with some red uh, upgraded brakes. So it's a big bigger brakes. It's so all four, which means four wheel drive. So uh, like this one is like a lot has a lot of chrome. Thinking of doing like a chrome delete, but kind of like how this is probably the only car that that I like how the chrome looks. Um, but all the fit and finish, man, it's like just like BMW, it's absolutely perfect. And it's the back seat. So we got in white interior with the silver um, anodized steel trim. Uh, it's got that diamond stitched seats. It's pretty roomy actually. Like I can, uh, that's my seat right there and I can sit behind it. Uh, one thing that kind of sucks is there's no heated seats. There's uh, just two USB-C ports. Uh, the mats look pretty cool. They got this kind of like uh, buckle or whatever you call. Um, at night, I don't know if you can see now, but it has a Mini Cooper logo on the side. Um, interior, so when the car starts up, you got the heads up display popping up. Um, so pretty much like you can see like a lot of BMW stuff here. Like this trim is pretty much the same. All these seat controls are the same as BMW. Uh, you can see like this is like kind of like the old 3 series where uh, this is not powered um, over here you got the standard you know mini cooper shifter with the shift boot and everything uh, what i like about this car is like how it's like a fighter jet has like switches so if you put it into sport mode you can hear how it just got a bit louder it opened one of the valves if i put it down it's closed um inside here uh, it's pretty much the standard Mini Cooper stuff. So the one thing you'll note is like it's very similar to iDrive, except that um, this the spin wheel you you uh, you spin it the opposite way of BMW. So every time I go from my dad's BMW to this car, uh, it's very different. I, I'm always like confused. Uh, but it is touchscreen, has Apple CarPlay. Um, it does not have gestures here, which BMW has. Um, but pretty much like the reason why we got this car is so my mom came from her X3. Um, so believe it or not, this is the same price as our old X3 was brand new. Um, and she was actually thinking of getting another X3, but this is the same price. Um, and this is based off of like the BMW X1 chassis. So it's like a front wheel drive, all wheel drive car. Um, but you know, space is pretty good. This has the um the basically the x2 m35 i engine so 301 horsepower uh 300 foot pounds of torque uh two liter four cylinder so i'll be putting up some clips of it So one thing I forgot to note that um, it does have wireless charging. Uh, the only problem is that it only fits um, my phone, but not my mom's cars. My mom's phone. Uh, my phone is like an iPhone 12, or you can say like XS size. If you get like the 11 or the 12, which is slightly bigger, um, or like the 12 Pro Max or whatever, um, it won't fit just because of the length. It kind of retracts this way. That's one thing to know. And I think this whole thing opens up here. Yeah, the whole thing opens up. So it's actually pretty good in terms of storage. You got this standard cup holder area here. Um, heated seats. One thing to know is no heated steering wheel, which kind of sucks. Even though it's like pretty, like all the BMWs have it. 
Um, so this is the F60 generation. Um, so the reason why we got, so F60 is from 2017 onwards, but in 2020, they got a refresh, which uh, just the lights, the screen, um, and obviously like the, the new engine, right? I think the 2019s don't have the 300 horsepower. Um, so the 2021 actually got a refresh. Um, this became digital. Uh, the screen had some updates and mainly it's just wheels and then lights. Uh, the main reason why we didn't get that is just because of, you know, this is the last model year of this generation. So obviously it has less recalls, less problems. You know, so far we have about 2365 kilometers on it. Uh, so far, no problems. And like, I've been enjoying it. This is probably like one of my favorite cars. Um, it's very stiff. Like if you're like before getting into this car, like I would drive it and make sure if you like it, it is very stiff. I enjoy that and I enjoy like that direct feeling. Um, in sport mode, it does like have all those pops and burbles and stuff like that. Um, but you know, like I think I think what a lot of people don't realize is that like this is like they, they call it an SUV, but I would think of it as more of a hot hatch. And if you think about it, like for fifty thousand dollars, you you can get like this is obviously specced out to I think sixty, but you can get this uh, like a JCW for forty five fifty. Um, and then if you're looking at like golf bars and stuff, right, you're getting more power, you're getting more space, and you're getting a BMW, right? And what comes with like the BMW name is the fact that you're getting you know the four year warranty and everything. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, so just like all my other review videos, uh, we're gonna be going through the templates. So I've gone through most of it. Um, so the options to look for, I would say is, um, I think this is called like the Premier Package, which is like BMW's Premier Package. Um, I would advise getting that, because you know, these nice seats, those look pretty good. And then you get the, the heads-up display. Uh, the heads-up display is pretty good. It's not like the BMW ones, but uh, you know, it's single colored. It still shows the navigation, but not like, the full highway and the lanes and everything like that uh, but it is a nice touch i would say like for a 2020 car it's kind of mandatory um and yeah the other thing that it comes so, with this is another option that we got where it has these lines in between so what you'll notice is at night um this becomes uh it lights up with along that color and when you change it i believe yeah so you see in sport mode it becomes red it also changes here What's, cool, what's actually cool about here is uh, if you change this, um, you can see how it goes along with it. So that's with every setting too. So I believe even if you put the volume, uh, yeah, if you put the volume up, it changes with that. So you can kind of see like while you're driving. Um, I think it's like a pretty cool feature. Uh, so when we were looking at this, like I guess the comp we didn't really look at the competitors of this car. Uh, the competitors of this car are, I guess, uh, the X2 itself. Uh, the X2 M35i, which believe it or not, it actually, all the same options as this is about like 60 by 70, uh, which is kind of expensive. It, it goes up to like 65, I believe. Yeah. And then if you add all those little, little options, uh, another option is the Audi Q3. Um, so that one was actually good. Uh, the only thing about the Audi Q3 was, uh, you know, like they don't really have like an S model or like a sport version. Um, and yeah it just it just it's just like a normal car like it's there's a lot of them right i think the the unique part about buying this car is that like it's very unique you don't see a lot of countrymen on the road uh, another car that's obvious is the gla um so obviously this kind of competes with more of like a gla 35 or gla 45 the problem with that is that is also very expensive so that's why like i think this car like for the price point that it is Although it is fifty five, sixty thousand dollars for the amount of money you're getting, like you're getting adaptive dampers, you're getting all wheel drive, you're getting a two liter four cylinder turbocharged with three hundred horsepower, right? That's 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 pretty nice. And this car, like I'm telling you, it's not three hundred horsepower. Um, I think the zero to sixty is rated for about five seconds, and I can consistently get five seconds, which is pretty damn pretty damn good. Um, so other things about the ownership, so maintenance and insurance. So the insurance was uh, about the same price as the 2018 X3 that we had. Um, so that's no surprise. I mean, just like a BMW. Uh, maintenance, exactly like BMW, right? So four year, uh, no, sir, like you don't have to worry about anything. Only thing you gotta do is like maybe change tires, which you'll probably never go through. Uh, one thing to note is um, 
most of the JCWs that you find on the market are with the 19 inch wheels. So the 19 inch wheels are standard um, all seasons. The 20 inch, however, come with all season performance or fully summer tires. So that was kind of hard to find, uh, especially like, you know, when they said that the 2020s were stopped production. So we were looking for one with the all season plus or like the all season performance tires. Um, and they're actually pretty good. Like um, these were the same tires that we had on the X3 as well, the Pirelli uh, P0 All Season Plus. Um, they have pretty uh, good road noise um, and they're pretty good in the snow too. Um, they're obviously not like a winter tire, but um, it is pretty good. Um, in terms of modification, so what I have planned for this car is pretty much just to do some of the chrome delete. I want to keep some of the chrome, it looks pretty nice. Um, what most people do, uh, like the exhaust is already pretty loud, like so there's no point in modifying the exhaust, it's valved, it's nice, so if you put it um, in green mode, it actually kind of sounds like a, like an i8, it has like a buzzy sound, then in normal mode it's, it's okay, then in sport mode it has a bit of pumped in audio, uh, but then you hear all the pops and uh, bangs and stuff like that. Uh, one thing to note is you basically, so I'm at 2300 uh, kilometers right so i've heard um like all the brake point check-ins are like a thousand then 1500 and then 5000 so i'm gonna make another video updating so apparently at 5000 it crackles even more uh, which is just like crazy um so one thing to note is when you're driving it you won't know the like you you, you kind of have to like enforce it right so how i get it to crackle is like say if i'm in third gear um i don't know 3000 rpm then i'll downshift and i'll go to about five or six then it'll have like a lot of pops and bangs and what i've noticed is that uh, maybe other countrymen owners can say this um sometimes like it just won't like pop in uh, sport mode um, so then what i'll do is i'll put it into the mid mode or the, the comfort mode and then it'll crackle there then i put it back in the sport mode and it's fine so i think it's something to do with like the tuning or maybe they're just doing it to prevent the cats from uh getting flooded because this is like a stock car right it has two cats it has a muffler it has a resonator 